Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and today we become wizards. That's right, you heard me correctly. You're a wizard, Hiccup. <laughs> oh man, it's going to be so much fun. So, little time has passed in between uh, last episode and this one. We spent a few days harvesting up everything that we could. I don't think we have any sap or E tier left. I could go get more. Like, there's definitely more sap. I don't think we have any more soft tissue. I think I have used all of it. There's zero sap in there. Okay, there's a couple of... Uh, okay, so we do have a little bit of leftover uh, soft tissue in there, but I guess I gotta go get some more sap to use that up. Um, and we'll do that eventually, but... Let me just double-check myself, make sure we're not missing any more. No, I think we used it up, and we did go out and harvest a good bit of uh, um, uh, Yggdrasil wood. We also harvested and replanted our tree. Uh, um, actually, let me go see if that's regrown yet, because I did harvest the rest of it. I planted it. We chopped a few. I replanted the thing. It's just it, we, it, trees. Oh, yeah, potions. <laughs> Thanks for the reminders. Always appreciate reminders. There we go. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, look at that. Some of them have just sprouted. Awesome. So this is ready to be harvested again. Oh, look, there's still some that haven't grown. Cool. All right. Yeah, I replanted the crap out of this place, so it should be should be reharvestable here soon. Uh, and we did harvest all the rest that we had here. I have been churning out some more um, some more coal, so we have some more coal, and there's plenty of wood here, pretty heavily stacked. All right, we're feeling good. Yeah, we can do some building at some point. Let me go see if the other potions are ready. If they are, I may take a moment and make some stamina potions, because that, that, those are the two I end up really using right now. Um, oh, wait. No, actually, we may want to save one of these and make one of those E-tier potions. Oh, why didn't I do that? I should have done that in preparation for this episode, because, you know, it takes a while for a potion to brew. Um, can we make a... S oh, I want to make some of those lingering stamina ones, too, because I think that's pretty cool. I like, I, just, I, I like bonus stamina regen. Like, that's really nice. Um... But heck yeah, look at all those potions. Now we're talking. <laughs> With potions like these, I can be a little reckless if I want to. <laughs> oh, we're going to use this table here in a minute. I'm pretty sure we have everything we need to make everything in here. Um, and if we don't, we'll get it this episode. We're going to craft everything that table has to offer this episode. Watch it happen. Um... <laughs> All right, I've been doing this new thing where I try and, I'm trying really hard not to use up too much of these meals because I, I prepped these a few episodes ago, and uh, it's actually been really nice just to come over and just, like, munch on one of them at a time. Um, and for some reason, that seems to make them last longer. Don't don't ask me why. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. It, it's not really any... Um... Oh, by the way, I was harvesting up more meals because I want to make more of this uh, meat platter. And I was... Look at how I got... this. Let me show you. I just recorded a clip a minute ago. Take a moment. Check this out. This is how I was getting all of this... Uh... <laughs> this is how I got all this... Uh... Why do I want to say yak? Not yak. It's a... <laughs> it's a lox. <laughs> um... This is how I got all this locks me. Check this out. This was hilarious. <laughs> okay, everybody. It's kind of in between episodes, but I just had to start. I had to hit record and share this. Look at this. Look at this. What? Oh my gosh. What have we become? Oh wow, that one actually didn't finish him. <laughs> I'm just kind of gathering some more meat in between uh, episodes, letting some some woods grow and everything so I could harvest some more stuff. I was just out here and thought I'd get some more lox meat. This is hysterical. I'm having a blast. These little knives are the best. <laughs> oh man, hunting lox has never been so easy. Anyway, let's get back to the episode. So yeah, that's how I got all that lox meat. It was a lot of fun and it was really quick, but we can make lox, uh, we can make the meat platter really easy there. Um, honey glazed chicken is coming along. I've been harvesting the chickens. Let me go check on them real quick too. And then I think we're all caught up. Um, I did go to the queen location and harvest up a bunch of... Why does that chicken look exhausted? Are you okay, my dude? <laughs> uh, we have extra chicken meat in here. We do. Good. Good, good, good. I try not to throw out too much of this. Too many seeds at a time anymore. And you know what? Actually, it might be harvesting time. Whoops! I didn't mean to hit the chicken! The little hen, or the little chickadee. Whoops. 
There we go. Yeah, just gotta keep the keep the chicken population down. <laughs> That's hilarious. It took a little while to get into this routine, but like once you get the chicken routine, man, these things are awesome. Like chickens forever. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> enough rambling and catching everybody up on everything. We're good to go. Let's make some stuff. All right, what do we need? I know we're gonna need lots of this. So let's just bring all this around with us. Wow, that weighs a lot, actually. Hang on. How much do they weigh for a stack? 150 pounds. Man, that's some heavy stuff. Okay, um, let's go see what we need first. Feathers, linen thread, and hide. More linen thread. Okay, lots of linen, which I'm hoping we actually should have somewhere. Oh, yeah, awesome. Okay, I think I stopped making it at some point. We'll grab two stacks of that. Looks like we're going to need that and a lot of this hair. All right, all right. <laughs> that should be the whole robe, I think. Yes, yes, and yes. Awesome, we already have the feather cape fun. Okay, all right. Ten bones and four skeleton trophies. This is starting to sound like an evil witch's brew. <laughs> Four freeze glands. Yeah. <laughs> <Just like laughs> Ooh, we don't have very many of those. I guess I really stopped saving them at some point. Actually, we probably have more back at the old base. Ah, four certling cores. Crap. Um, uh, 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 all right. I do want to make that, though. Um, why do I feel like I might have... Let me check the mist ba Mistlands bases. I feel like I might have one out there. Or maybe... Oh my gosh, yeah, there we go. All right, I, I thought so. Yeah, we keep finding them out in the Mistland. Stuff keeps breaking and it keeps dropping them. And actually, it's like really nice. <laughs> Very convenient. Was it five? Did it need five? No, it need four. Okay. I'm not going to be able to carry anything else. Um, we need to hang all these weapons, actually. Let's go ahead and hang all the weapons. Uh, well, all except for one. We'll keep the hammer. And we'll put our tools away. There we go. We'll just keep these just in case. That is everything except for seal breaker, but we don't need to make another one of those. I don't think we can either, so. All right, let's grab all. We need 60, 60 Yggdrasil wood. And then just a, all the E tier we can carry over. All right, we're going to toss the wood over here. And then slow walk all the E tier over. <laughs> We're going to be able to make everything at the table all at once, except for Seal Breaker. But still, this is going to be fun. There we go. All right, let's make this outfit, because heck yes. And the robe. And the trousers. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Dead Razor sounds really fun, so I definitely wanted to make one of those. I'm a big fan of this. That Staff of Protection is too cool. Staff of Frost. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're out of E tier. Couldn't make the Staff of Embers. That is a little bit of a bummer. <laughs> All right, let's save the E tier then. I should have gone and got more of that in between episodes. <clears throat> but we needed a lot of other stuff, honestly. Look at that, though. Haha, <laughs> we're wizards now. Let me go see this stuff. Probably can't do anything with it right now. We have no E tier. So what, what happens if we try? Let me see. E tier required. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Real quick then. This doesn't actually give you any E tier wearing this. No, it just helps with E tier regeneration. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Timely would love this. Okay, okay. Well, let's make some foods then. Uh, there's also an E tier potion we can make. I think I want to brew. So let's try a little bit of everything. What's the potion? How do you make that? Okay, I think minor E tier is the only one. Let's make some of this. Um, I have to go get some sap. Oh, nice. We've got some iron out here. Awesome. I was hoping to have that. Um, we need to go around and start tearing down a bunch of the other Vergar structures around here. Yeah. That would be awesome. Nice. Yeah, and as long as you don't come out here too often and grab this, like, every time it's done, they really don't seem to go away. Like, the roots really do just hang around. And that's 40 sap all the time. Like, that is, that is awesome. 
All right, let's brew some cool potions. Yeah, I wonder how much E tier you get for that potion. Like, that's really cool, actually. Minor E tier, there we go. Yep, lingering stamina, there we go, there we go. Can I make two of those? I can. Let's do that, awesome, all right. Let's go get these brewing. All right, plenty of eggs. I think one of the uh, recipes we might want to make actually takes eggs. Or we might actually know we had some backups. Let me go check this out. Hang on. Yes. Seeker Aspis. Aspic? Aspic. Seeker Aspic. And stuffed mushroom. But it really doesn't give us a whole lot of health. The best health foods we have, you know, are, are all of these. So how much E tier does each one give us? One gives us 85, the other gives 75. You need 100 for the dead razor. 60 for the staff. Does that say five for the staff of frost? What? All right, well, let's be bold. Ah, I'm full already. Well, let's fix that. Always make sure you're in a safe spot when you eat one of these berries. And always wait for the countdown to be completely gone before you eat again. <laughs> I've wasted meals before. All right, so all of these are the best. Yeah, 80, 80, 85. Okay, so Miss Hair Supreme is a little better. It is just a tiny bit better than other stuff. So we're gonna go with that, this, and this. And suddenly we're a wizard. <laughs> that health bar is a little tiny. Let me see this, let me see this mage outfit. How much armor did we lose? We're going from 103 to... Ouch. No. Oh my gosh, no. All right, the rope gives 40%. Let's, you know, let's let's do this. See, 85, 85 I can get behind. And that's kind of a cool look. Now you get 40 for the pants. Let's do that instead. <laughs> skinny pants <laughs> anyway let's go try this out oh my gosh look at that stamina bar hello whoa oh that's the staff of protection oh that's so cool oh that doesn't take much that only takes 60 how how much more is that doing any damage at all Whoa, what? We just in improved what now? Hold up. Oh, that's gotta be my new favorite thing. <laughs> Is this seriously? Did that just do what I think it did? Just pew, 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 pew. Oh, that's hilarious. This thing is like a little... What? what? Valheim just became a shooter. <laughs> oh, that's kind of great. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, now I wish I had... Oh, we need to go get more E tier. I want to make the Staff of Fire. We have to. Oh, we have to. Okay. All right. Um, right. I'm bringing the weapons I'm cozy with, though. And honestly, I'm not worried about E tier regeneration at all. I like having the heavy armor. So we're going to hang this outfit back up. Oh, this health bar makes me really nervous, though. Um, and I really... Oh, wait. Yeah, wait. We didn't do this. Can we do it? What? <laughs> it has a name and everything. Hello. Aw, oh, good little pet. Oh, my gosh. What? How many times can we do that? Can we have more than one? <gasps> Dude, that raises us up. Uh... Oh, you you can upgrade it and it can do more? What what does this thing take to upgrade? Oh my gosh, yeah, so much E tier. This is hilarious though. Is it always a little archer? That's awesome. We have to go try this out. Where's another fueling? Here's another fueling. Does this work around him too? It did! Oh my gosh, it gave the little summon a shield! <laughs> oh, I, okay, we need to make the Staff of Fire. Alright, everybody buckle up. Um, I'm gonna... Oh my gosh, we have to, we have to hang these somewhere. Alright, for now, we're gonna keep them 
uh, somewhere. All right, this, this chest is empty. All right, we're going to keep them in here for now. I really like this one's coming with me for sure, actually. Um, let's... Uh, I want to I wanna travel smart. I really love the knives. And just in case things go really sideways and we need, like, sword and shield. Yeah, there we go. That feels super comfy to me, actually. Let's hang up the hammer. No, we need to. We have to go right now and get some uh, get some more soft tissue. We gotta get that staff of embers. I gotta see what it does. That's so fun. Alright, so I only need 60. 75, 85. Alright, so the seeker aspect is actually like a little on the better side and I really just want to be able to cast that staff of protection spell once. That's amazing. Oof. That is a hard meal to balance if you want to go magic. I would rather have more health and a little less stamina. Especially if we're going to have that staff of protection barrier. We're going to be able to be a little more berserk about it. So that's going to be fun. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so awesome. Okay, are we are we, are we we set to go? Oh, I don't have my pick. We need the pick. Uh, not going to worry about the axe because we're not going to chop wood this time. We got all that. Oh my gosh. All right, so we've got to go to one of the farther um let's let's plan the trip real quick yeah we definitely have to go to a farther one we went to what was it this one last time no this one yeah we came here and unfortunately that one is still still got some uh verger hanging out in it so we're gonna run out to one of these two and see what we can find but we're gonna have to jump to the queen and we'll do that in the morning see you guys in a little bit Day 323. Just going to repair my gear and we're setting out. Oh, that stamina bar is tiny. It makes me so nervous. Okay, well, we have too much mana with this build to not just do this like every, every chance we get. So, did that... That did hurt us a little bit, didn't it? I'm going to wait for that to pop again, but that looked like it hurt us a little. I guess blood magic, right? I guess it's going to... Well, fine then. Ah, let's go for this one. All right, let the jog begin. It's going to be a good run out there. We're going to try and take the high ground, too, with the cape. That makes it really easy, so... Keep the knives out too, just in case we run into some mist hair. I forgot that mist hair supreme is just a tiny bit better, so yeah, definitely want to harvest up as much of them as possible. And that bad magic barrier lasts for a good bit. I love that. That's so awesome. Man, defensive magic, heck yeah. All right, yeah, this hurts a little. Oh, not just a little. Is it, is it, hmm, is it worth it? Gosh, look how long it lasts. That is pretty epic. I guess if you use it before battle, it's pretty worth it. Yeah, I don't know about it in the middle of combat. Sacrifice that much health just to take a few extra hits. Like, mm, you could probably take those hits with that much health. Or or maybe not. I don't know. I guess if it was like a Seeker one star, no. Like, I would rather... Well, would the shield pop in one hit, probably? I, I don't <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot of silly testing. Um, I'm sure someone's already done it. I'm going to keep doing this just because. Is that giving us more of that blood magic? Or do we actually have to, like, take a hit on the shield in order for the blood magic to be leveled? Alright, looks like it's right in front of us. Yes. 
Here we go. Oh, and this one looks like it's already mostly exposed. That's really nice. All right, we do want a little bit of black marble, so I'll go ahead and chop through the mouth. Actually, I did. Bring, I was smart, and I did bring this tool. Let's see if we can just lower the ground a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That might actually help with harvesting this thing. Yeah, here we go. That's smart. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Use that brain. There we go. Very nice. All right, that might not go down any more than that. Sweet, though. Let's go ahead and chop our way in. Boom! Oh, man, did it all break? Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Well, that was the easiest and fastest ever. Okay, well, we can change this to marble now. Oh my gosh, to level any of this wizarding stuff up, you really need to get... How much did we get for that? It's about 60, a little, I think you're getting a little over 60 per brain, which is pretty good, I guess. Gosh, I feel like we need a lot more than that. You know? I need to be able... <laughs> I need to be able to eat another meal. Ooh, look at how little... This, I, don't, I don't like how little health that left me with. That's not cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Have I not mapped this one yet? Well, hello, friends. Why are there so many Verger camp out here? Just another house to tear down eventually. If we can ever evict the tenants. I feel bad every time I evict some of them. I, I really do, though. Let's climb this mountain for fun. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can see. Whew, we made it. Of course it has to start thundering. Like the moment we start adventuring. Look at us up here. This is awesome. Alright, yeah. So, fast track. Over to where we're going. Let's jump it. And go. Now see, that health bar is much more satisfying. <laughs> that makes me feel much safer. We still have one more of the aspect to go. Hey! So many rabbits out here. And that does give me enough E tier to cast. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, wow, it's only 60 for this staff? Okay, so yeah, you really don't need a whole lot. I really like this staff. That's... Gosh, that still takes a bit of magic. I wonder if it takes a little less health with the more, you know, the more you train it. Um, that would be pretty cool. It looks like we're right next to it. Where is this brain? Oh yeah, that one's really buried. Alright, this one might take a little effort. There we go. I think I've pulled it down pretty much as much as I can. It doesn't really want to very well on this hillside. That's okay. Let's get in here and dig. We definitely already have enough for the uh, for the staff. I'm just trying to get as much as possible because it looks like we just need so much if we're ever going to level any of this stuff up. We're going to have to find more mislins, which will require another outpost. It is the tree, isn't it? I wonder if we got rid of the tree, if it would uh, would get rid of the rest of it. We may have to come back and finish harvesting that. I think we're, yeah, we are pretty much maxed out on carry weight. And that should be plenty to get us what we want anyway. I just want to get that new staff and really go mess with that. So let's try and get this back. Got a little bit of a hike in front of us. Go ahead. I'm just going to keep using this just in case we run up on any trouble. It'll be awesome to just have the shield in place. Hello, I don't see too many of these in the Mistlands. What does this one say? Must be born again. Yeah, when are the Jotun gonna come into this? 
Will Jotun Bane do a lot of damage to the Jotun? Because, yes, please. Because <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, where's the queen? There we go. Still heading the right way. Keep moving. The bubble life is good life. Hello, friend. I have one of those staves now, and it's hilarious. Oh, you know, I didn't use its alternate attack. I wonder if the alternate attack is that, like, area of effect that they do. They stomp their staves in the ground. There's, yeah, no, we were going the right way. Queen's this way. Yeah. Oh, hello. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. It really does just absorb a few good hits there. And did that give it a little experience? Yes, we did level up once in there. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Man, I'm really going to want to keep some, like, medium health potions or something around for that. I don't know. Look at that, though. That takes so much health to cast. All right, enough of this lollygagging. Let's get this stuff home and make another staff. The raised dead one is pretty cool. It looks like if you can get that one upgraded. Um, oh, we should go get some uh, sap too while we're hanging out. Oh, we got some marble. I did grab a little marble between episodes, not a whole lot. I think it was like just barely a stack. We didn't do a ton. Look at all that though. That's fantastic. All right, we'll go get that started, and then we'll go grab some more sap. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of 50-50. I've never been much of a mage character. Um, but the mage stuff is really cool. <laughs> some, some of these, I really like that protection staff. Like, that is absolutely awesome, actually. I really like that. All right, we'll let that start churning out. So what do we need, 16? And we had seven, so we need about 10. So it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, yep, 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 sounds about right. Wow, that hurt a lot, Death Skeeter. Well, we cast the spell on ourselves too, so that, that happened, that's right. So how many Death Skeeto stings can we take? Bonk. <laughs> I love this. This is great. Come on, hit me again. Hit me, hit me, hit me. What happens if I counter block? Okay, so it still counts as a shield hit. Does it make the shield last longer? Let me counter. Let me try to keep counter blocking. No. What is it? Three hits? Let's count here. How many? How many hits can we can we withstand? One. I think it's just three hits. Period. Right. So far, that seems to. I think that's pretty consistent. Two. Yeah. I think it's just three hits. So you trade a little health for just like three solid attack. That's pretty cool. I think for some of the heavier creatures, any two-star creatures or anything, that's gonna be. Oh, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Are we leveling up in that blood magic or what? Yes, we are. Very cool. Very cool. Well, interesting. We could definitely skill grind that a little bit, but I don't really do a whole lot of that. That's still really cool, though. I love that. The little protective shield. That's so cool. Really do want a health-focused meal with that, though. I mean, sheesh. It does take so much. What do we have? 183 down to... Ooh! What, uh, like 73 health? My gosh. Ouch. Ah, good thing the health tick with the foods we're eating are pretty, pretty substantial. Um, let me go see if those potions are done brewing. How much does an E tier potion give? Because if the E tier potion um, can give me 60. Uh, oh, what the? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, can give me 60 E tier, that's all I need. Like, that's all I need for this staff. This is the one I'm going to use. I love this one. I don't even need to worry about uh, E tier regeneration with it because um, 
you know, first of all, it lasts forever. And the other, you know, I'll be waiting for my health to regen, uh, which will mean I have to wait for the E tier to regen anyway. It's it, like, it's going to work out just fine, I think. Okay, if these are still lingering, or if the lingering ones are still brewing, then the other one's still brewing too. All right, we won't worry about that potion right now then. All right, it is nighttime. I don't really want to be out in the mists at the nighttime. But yeah, <laughs> let's get uh, let's get us some sap. I'm gonna get the uh, E tier brewing overnight, and by morning we should be able to make our fire staff. Heck yeah, another forty guys. This is so nice having all of this back here. This is ridiculous. Uh oh, that root doesn't look like it's glowing at all. Have we taken too much? Possibly, possibly. All right, let's get this stuff home, though. Any more sap out here? I don't have any. It's just hanging out. No, but we have some iron. Got to come back and start chopping down some other camps and buildings. All right, let's go fill this up again. There we go. Ow. That little green bolt hit me directly. It did lightning and poison. Wow, it's just element. Just E tier is just element. <laughs> just all of it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, is that enough already? Oh, one more. Hang on, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wait for one more. I think that was it right there. Yep. Nice. Let's go ahead and refill. But. Let's go make the fire staff. 16, right on the money. Now we're talking, okay, needed four of this and 10, no, 20 of these? Yes, all right. <laughs> Let's go for a short walk outside and see what this is all about. <laughs> It is, it's just a circling core on the end of that stick. Why do I love that so much? It's like we just taped it on there. Well, it's kind of more like the stick grew around it. That is pretty cool. But there is definitely some twa, like, is that bandaging? No, no, that is just root. Yeah, it's like the staff grew around it, actually. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, didn't try this. Is there an alternate attack with the staff? There's not. Why is that? Hang on. Okay, no, the button's still working. No alternate attack with that. No alternate attack. Okay, so it's just just these. Okay, let's go see what this thing does. Can we get some fuelings out here? Come on, come on now. Should be a little careful. Our food is kind of teetering. Hello? There's a group. How far can we throw this thing? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. It's like having your own personal little hand grenades. How much does it cost per attack? 35 E tier, got it, okay. Oh wow, both of you, huh? Both of you are one star? That's pretty cool. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Can we train this up? Because, because I will absolutely, hey, easy, easy does it. All right, this has got to train the blood magic pretty good, right? One stars. Ooh, it only he, oh, two hits. He took it down in two hits. Ha! Ah, feel like I dodged that. I think I did. <laughs> oh, nice! I can kind of cast it in the middle of a leap. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh! Yeah, they break that in two hits. That's pretty cool, though. We're getting better blood magic this way. Like, I don't know that that really matters, maybe. Is it leveling faster with the one stars attacking us? Because I might do this for the rest of the evening. <laughs> I should go in and get some more E tier. There we go. Ooh!
Are you going to attack? <laughs> Come on, hit me. There it is. Come on, level four. There it is, level four. All right, we're going <laughs> to... We'll knock that off. <laughs> well, that was kind of a funny way to spend the evening. That's awesome, though. But, man, the... Uh, Oh man, the uh, the fire staff actually that one's pretty wicked. I don't know about that. Fr the frost staff is pretty interesting. That is kind of a little machine gun, but I really like these little. That is a little explosive, like fireball, little hand grenade. That's awesome. I can only cast two, like this. I'm trying to try. I'm trying to find a balance of like maybe one of the magic E tier meals. The thing about it is, like, I'm, it makes me miss my stamina. Hmm. All right, what else can we do? Um, man, this fireball punches, though. It does so much damage. 120 blunt and 120 fire. That's ridiculous. This will, Yeah, this only does 30 frost. I mean, it's still pretty cool, and the frost would slow things down, so that's pretty wicked. But the fireballs, holy crap. That's crazy. That is crazy. I really do. Let me go uh, refill the E-tier refinery, and then we're going to run out and see if those potions are done, because I really do want to see just how much E-tier the, uh, the minor E-tier potion will give us. If it's 60, that's amazing, because then I don't even have to give up a meal, which will just be awesome for me. Like, I'll just drink that and be able to use my staff, which is so nice. Um, but also, if we can stack it, you know, and use it alongside... Um, some foods. We can use the, the Staff of Embers. Man, the Staff of Embers is so cool. Is it just me, or do the chickens not really recognize... The, well, the hens don't really recognize the chickens as other chickens. So as long as you keep throwing down seeds while there's a bunch of chickens in there, they kind of keep spawning eggs until all the chickens grow up or am i just imagining that is that happening <laughs> i might be imagining that oh it is done good 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 all right that means the other ones are done too let's go grab them all i just like the way that looks look at that that is an awesome little potion whoa Oh, it just restores E tier. Oh. Like, this is going to be a waste, I know, but if I just drink one, you don't get any. It just restores it immediately, so you can just keep casting. Well, that would be crazy. Does this work on trees? No. Why does that actually upset me a little bit? <laughs> it's fire, right? Just come on. Boom, boom. Okay, so the E-tier really does just kind of give you a, a bump of, of E-tier back. Okay, so less, slightly less interested unless, you know, unless you're going to be like hardcore mage and you really need to just keep that mana going and just throw all the spells out that you possibly can. Um, I'm probably not going to bank on that too hard. <laughs> when I lose this cape or if, you know, I start a new game and I just start jumping over railings... I'm going to really get myself hurt. Lingering stamina. See, that's pretty awesome. I like the I, I like the concept for lingering stamina. Just extra stamina regen over time. Get that stacked with a rested bonus and just stamina forever. That's awesome. Yeah, here we go. I may keep two of these on me. We're running out of these staminas, so it might be fun to mess around with some of those. Um... Yeah, we'll just toss those in there for now. Awesome. Guys, we are making some progress. I think what we really need to do now is mostly focus on trying to build up our new plane, our, our new Mistlands base. Um, I really want to move out there, really start living out there. You know, there's still a few things that I think I haven't made. Um, let me take a look around because I feel like there's something I'm missing. Aha! I knew there was something new. This, this popped up a while ago. Mechanical spring. Let me go grab some E tier and some iron. Let's see what that's all about. So I don't think we've ever made one of those. So let's let's go ahead right here on the on the. Whoa! Oh, a trap, and a ballista. 
Hang on. What does the trap do? Need three springs for a ballista. Oh, is that what these are for? Oh, yeah. These, oh, okay. Oh, guys. That is cheap. What? That's so powerful. Okay, well, we need a couple of these for our, our new Mislins base. Can I travel through the port? No, it can't be. <gasps> okay, stop. Stop then. Well, let's make one for here. Why not? We just made a couple. Okay, stop though. Stop. Um, we're going to have to bring the E tier. Yeah, we can bring the E tier through the portal and we'll get iron out at our new base just from mining all those. Just from mining everything. Let's go ahead and make a ballista out here just for fun. Um, trap seems really cool too. We may have to ch test that out on, on some things. I wonder if that would work on the queen. Can we set up ballistas around the queen? That might be pretty cheap, but I don't know. If she's as tough as she seems like she's going to be. It could be worth doing. Alright, let's set one of these up just for fun. I guess that'll do, huh? Three tall. <laughs> Look at this thing. Whoa. What was I sliding off of here? No bullet. Oh, guys, didn't we make a bunch of wooden? Let's go grab. I think I made a bunch of wooden ones a long time ago after we beat Motor. Ah, uh, where did I put those? Right, because, yeah, the, the, old, the old artisan table used to be there. Didn't we? Yes, we did. Right? Bolts? Is that what that is? Wooden missiles. What? Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. We gotta see this in action. Let's lure a fueling or a locks or something over. Did it just, like, start moving on its own? There we go. 40. Nice. That's exactly how much it can take. Set target with trophy. Set target? What? Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. You know what we get around here all day, every day are feelings. So you tell it what to hunt with this. Oh, <gasps> what? Okay, I actually really love that. Like, it's not going to target everything. It's not that. It's just going to target like a specific thing that you set it to. That seems really, like, a little, I don't know, that seems magic. That seems like some magic, but I guess that is some magical ballista right there. All right, well, we got a lure of fueling over. I want to see what this thing does to a fueling. Well, this is great for kiting enemies. <laughs> ah, very cool. Come on, little one. All right, so how far away from the ballista can you be? Oh, you're running right at it, buddy. I didn't really take a look at the wooden missile damage. Oh, oh, target acquired apparently. It missed. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Okay. That is not a bad bit of damage. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. Well, we're going to have to get several of these set up at our new base in the Mistlands. Maybe just mostly for uh, Jal. Because uh, I could probably build walls, build a bunch of stone walls and wooden walls to keep out seekers and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, a couple of those spread out just in case a y'all comes, a jaw or whatever comes floating over the, over the wall. Man, what a fun ep. Okay, this is crazy. We have so many new toys to play with. Um, I really like these two stabs, and I think they're going to greatly increase our survivability in the Mislins. Although. I don't know that I'll always carry a little bit of E-tier on me. I'm, I'm still just a big health and stamina warrior guy, but these stabs are really nice. Like, I don't know, man. It, it might pay off to use one or two against the queen. I'm not sure. I really like the protection staff. I just wish that it didn't take so much health away. Ouch. That has got to be a little over a third. That's crazy. Did you see that health tick come back, though? That was pretty nice. <laughs> ah. Look at the way all the firelight is reflecting off of the shield, too. I love this. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, 
Oh, look at all that eats here. Heck yeah. All right, I'm coming out here to fill it up again. But all right, everybody, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. This has been so much fun. All of this magic stuff is so much fun to mess with. I'm really excited to keep messing with it and keep expanding on it. We need to go and find even more soft tissue now to level up stuff because uh, apparently we're just never going to have enough of that. It's kind of it's going to be like the next iron, you know, the... The E tier and the soft tissue. It's just, it's. I just need, I just need a billion of it. Oh, did we? Did that actually stop us from prevent us from taking fall damage? Hold up, hold on. One more experiment here. This might hurt a bit. That did not prevent us from taking fall damage. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Don't rely on that then. Don't, don't do that. Ouch. Anyway, everybody, I'm going to go grab um, what I need to make another little stone cutter out in our mistlands, and I might go around and try to demolish a couple of standing bridges. We might try and go and chop some of those uh, skeletons out so we can get some black marble. Time to start building and adding on to that little base out there and really uh, making something out of it. May go and grab some more stone, too. We, we definitely have plenty of wood, and the, and the little uh, wood forest that we have to far farm is all back, so... We're set to go on pretty much everything. We just need a bunch of stone and a bunch of marble. So I'll set to that between episodes. But oh my gosh, I'm going to have so much fun just running around. I like this setup I've got going on too. This is like a lot. Um, actually makes me want to put the bow away for a little bit. And just kind of rely on the Staff of Embers. But then again, I don't know if I want to keep making that that meal over and over again. What is that an expensive thing to make? That uh, Seeker aspect? <laughs> no, it's, it's really not. Uh, I yeah. So we may we may I don't know. I may have some fun to run around with that. We may put the, the the spine snap down for a while and just use these staffs. But anyway, I'm rambling way too much. Hope everybody's had a lot of fun hanging out with me today. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in Valheim. Hope everybody's having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And I hope I see everybody in the next episode. Till then, have fun.